turns out the apple doesn't always fall very far from the tree. Donald Trump Jr. along with Peter Navarro have been linked to the bankruptcy case of a right-wing Chinese businessman. Guo Wangui is a Chinese billionaire who declared bankruptcy in February 2022 after he was fined $134 million in relation to his yacht. He sought asylum in the U.S. after Beijing accused him of corruption, and he has close ties to Steve Bannon. Last year, Wangui was charged in a $1 billion fraud conspiracy in which he allegedly defrauded thousands of people out of over a billion dollars. For this, he's set to go to trial later this year. Back when Steve Bannon was arrested on similar charges for defrauding donors to the Build the Wall campaign, he was actually aboard Wangui's yacht. Bannon, of course, has since been pardoned by Trump. Anyway, this is all separate from that. In the bankruptcy case, Donald Trump Jr. and Peter Navarro's names appeared on a list of potential defendants. Notably, the names being on the list doesn't automatically suggest wrongdoing. Given the sprawling nature of Wengui's banking and business dealings, it just means that Trump Jr. and Navarro were caught up somewhere within all of it. According to attorney Neil Crane, quote, the people on this list are going to include people who have information, people who could potentially have assets, people who potentially could have received assets they shouldn't have. The list of potential defendants is 25 pages long, and Crane says there's likely going to be allegations against some of them eventually. Well, the Chinese billionaire who owned the yacht is known as Guo Wenguo. He made his fortune in Chinese real estate but fled China in 2014 when he was accused of bribery and embezzlement. He then became a huge patron of Steve Bannon and the entire American right wing, even sponsoring last month's CPAC. Well, today it was Guo's turn to be arrested by federal agents on fraud allegations. Federal prosecutors in New York allege that Guo and a co-defendant conspired to defraud thousands of victims of more than approximately $1 billion through fictitious businesses and other online schemes. The trustee is responsible for working out a settlement with Wengui's creditors, which could mean redacting improper payments or asset transfers. The 25-page filing suggests that those on the list may have received money or assets from Wengui or any one of the entities associated with him. Navarro has denied receiving any such payments, but Trump Jr. did not respond to requests for comment from the Daily Beast. When Wengui fled China in 2015, he did so as an agitator against the Chinese Communist Party, or the CCP. In the years since, he has grown a significant following among anti-communists and members of the Chinese diaspora, and those are the same people he allegedly defrauded. By 2019, he had already forged ties with the likes of Steve Bannon and Rudy Giuliani, but suspicious activity led to an FBI raid at his Manhattan penthouse and offices in which they seized over 100 electronic devices. Wengui has long been known for being anti-China, but he has also faced allegations of being an agent of the Chinese secret police and working as a secret agent for Chinese intelligence. He quickly ingratiated himself with the Trump team at Mar-a-Lago by railing against the CCP and repeating accusations of corruption among China's top government officials. These accusations have yet to be proven, but I don't imagine anyone in Trump circles cares much about proof or evidence to substantiate claims. And these stories are always a little awkward because as it stands, there's not a whole lot to report on, at least in regards to Trump Jr. and Navarro's ties to Wengui. More is certain to come in the coming weeks and months, however, as Wengui goes to trial for his fraud case. As we've seen with Trump, whenever there are multiple lawsuits against someone, sometimes information discovered or revealed or otherwise made public during one trial can inform the other. Also, the bankruptcy case seems to be in its earlier stages, so while the likes of Trump Jr. and Navarro may be innocent in their particular roles, they may still suffer losses in relation to Wengui's fraudulent activity. Just another thing to keep an eye on amidst all of the things that we are already keeping our eyes on. All right, that's it for me. If you got anything out of this, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and check out my podcast, Modern Context. Thanks.